I talked to Peter Knights. He is the CEO of Wild Aid, a group that's working to end the consumption of shark fins. And he began by updating me on the latest threats to the world's sharks. Is it getting better? Can it be better? Or has there not really been any change? Well, there's good news and bad news. And the good news is that the imports of shark fin into China between 2013 and 2016 were down by over 80 percent. And the price of shark fin has gone down. And what this means in places like the Galapagos Islands, Marine Reserve, where they had a massive problem with illegal fishing of sharks, that's no longer going on because it's no longer economically viable. So we haven't had any poaching incidents in the Galapagos for four or five years now. And uh, we're seeing that in marine reserves around the world. On the other hand, uh, there's still tens of millions of sharks being caught, very often bycatch, in the tuna industry. So they'll set these long lines uh, to catch tuna, but they'll also catch sharks, they'll catch marine turtles, they'll catch seabirds uh, and other animals that are caught by accident. So what more needs to happen then? Well, the big move, uh, having basically broken the back of shark fin as the driver for killing sharks by reducing the price, the next thing really is to reduce the bycatch in the tuna industry. And they can do that by uh, setting in daytime rather than at night, using different kinds of bait. There's all kinds of things that can be done to reduce that bycatch and then short shark mortality. Air China, as you know, is the first Chinese airline to ban shark fins. Is that a step in the right direction? And, and does that send a message? Absolutely. We've seen in the last uh, 10 years of the campaign led by Yao Ming, supported by the Chinese government with their ban on shark fin consumption at state banquets, uh, a real turnaround in the shark fin industry. So that's really no longer the primary driver of shark mortality. What we're seeing now is, is the bycatch in the, uh, these fisheries, which is the problem, which needs to be addressed with different fishing gear and other, met uh, other methodologies. And what do you make of the steps China has made and is taking when it comes to shark populations and marine ecosystems worldwide? Well, we've just, I just got back from China a few weeks ago, and we we're in discussions with the fisheries ministry about uh, improving uh, marine protected areas around China. There are 200 marine protected areas around China right now, but many of them have been underfunded and haven't been properly enforced. But we're seeing a new, a new will to get better at that side of things and to improve marine protection all around China.